Hi guys, welcome back to Sleeve Saturday. You know, the American singer-songwriter Her first came across my radar in September 2020. For the In Memoriam segment of the Emmy Awards that year, she sang the classic song Nothing Compares to You, a track written by Prince and made famous by Sinead O'Connor. It's one of my favourite songs. What struck me about the performance was not only Her's incredible R&B vocal, but also the ease in which she switched from a gentle piano intro into an out-and-out -out electric guitar solo. I remember thinking to myself, who is this? After a quick Google search, I realised she was only 22 years of age and I was very impressed with her talent. From there, I dug into her back catalogue, which begins with an EP in 2016 and culminates with her first studio record last year called Back of My Mind. The record is very fresh for this genre and aside from her vocal, the lyrics are very well constructed and she has an intelligent way with words. Now that she's 25 years of age, she's really built up an impressive CV, which includes an Academy Award for Best Song, called Fight For You. It's from the movie Judas and the Black Messiah. She's also collected five Grammys. I mean, not bad at all. I had to get a t-shirt that said, nominated for five Grammys, you know, because it's just so special, I don't know. This week, in conjunction with the guitar company Fender, her has launched her own signature guitar. Man, I'm going to be honest, what an achievement for an artist so young. But how did she get here? Well, I think it comes down to her healthy knowledge and respect for who came before her. Kids would be, you know, on the playground and I'm like, I can't wait to go home and pick up my guitar and learn this yeah. Jimi Hendrix riff or, you know, whatever. So This is the first time in Fender's 77 year history that a black female artist has launched a signature guitar with them. You know what, when I read that, I was astonished it's taken that long. It's an absolute disgrace. Aside from her intricate knowledge of Prince and Hendrix and her father's influence on her musical taste growing up, I feel her, along with her own talent, is the beneficiary of black female guitarists from rock and roll and R&B who paved the way for her but didn't get the same recognition. You know, people like Sister Rosetta Tarp, Beverly Guitar Watkins, Peggy Jones, Odetta Holmes, Sylvia Robinson, Etta Baker, Lauren Hill, Barbara Lynn, and of course the iconic Tracy Chapman, whose debut record is in my top 10 records of all time. You know what, I could go on and on. The point I'm getting at here is these women were never recognised by Fender, so it's about time it actually happened. And for me, her is the perfect modern custodian of that feat. It's, it's really dope and it's so much fun and I'm walking different, I'm yeah, talking different. She said, I think a lot of women, especially young black women, young Filipino women, don't really think that these kind of things are possible. And I barely thought it was possible. So it's insane to know that I've done it. It's inspiring so many women to want to play instruments and want to pick up the guitar and know that they can. The guitar is called the Blue Marlin because I grew up fishing with my dad a lot and I just think it's one of the coolest looking fish. Guys, like I said, talented black women playing guitar is nothing new. They've been there for decades. Her is standing on the shoulders of those giants of music and along with her own talent is now being recognised. This should just be the beginning. It's about time, Fender. I'm curious though, guys, what are your thoughts? Should let me know in the comments and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time.